If you drive a Tesla Model S, you're about to get called and just put re in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Does Mercedes AMG want to jump into that hypercar game? I'll tell you. And the next Nissan GTR may be a lot later than sooner. Yeah. Plus, Bentley may be going electric with a new sports car. And it's Tuesday, friends, so you know someone is doing it wrong. Oh, yeah, that's happening. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. Welcome to the wonderful world of Fastlane Daily. Isn't that, isn't that right, Erica? So right. It's a, it's a good world. Hey, real quick, it is the Thanksgiving holiday this week. So we are off on Thursday and Friday. So we're going to, you know, we're gonna eat a bunch of delicious turkey and foods and stuff. Uh, maybe on Friday we'll bring you like a little FLD extra cut thing just so we leave you guys with something for the weekend, which we don't have to do, but we just might because we like you. Just giving you a heads up on that. I'll remind you again tomorrow. Thanksgiving. Yep. Love to eat turkey because it's good. Love to eat turkey like a good boy should because it's turkey to eat. So good. When Mercedes-Benz AMG division came out with the Mercedes AMG T, people were like, whoa, that's real nice. Since then, the question has been, will they enter into the world of the hypercar? Faster than the fastest of supercars. Another level of fast and battle the Ferrari LaFerrari. McLaren P1 and the Porsche 918 Spider. The answer is... Nah, not right now. Oh. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Uh, yeah, basically AMG chairman Tobias Moores said there's no engineering capacity to do that right now. So we're not gonna do it anytime in the near future. However, even though Tobias said a hypercar doesn't make financial sense, you know, for AMG, he admitted customers are interested in something like that. Well, duh, of course they are interested. I think everyone's like, you're interested if you're gonna make it. But as for now, the answer is the same answer that uh, I give people if they ask me if I can dunk a basketball. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you own a Tesla Model S? Erica, you don't have one, right? No, I don't. Yeah, you don't. But if you do, it's getting recalled. Uh, your Model S is getting recalled, your Model S is getting recalled, your Model S is getting recalled, et, yeah, mo recalled. Every single Tesla Model S is being recalled. The reason, you ask? Well, Tesla recently found out that in the Model S, well, there was a Model S in Europe with a front seat belt that was not properly connected to the outboard lap pretensioner. So that car wasn't in a crash or anything, and there were no injuries but a seatbelt in this condition would not provide full protection if a crash occurred. Could be very bad. Could be very bad. So they need to fix it, of course. Not a big deal, but the recall includes nearly 90,000 cars. So it's a lot of Teslas. Uh, Tesla stock, and it, it took a slight hit because of this story, but pretty sure this is not going to be something that's huge. It's not gonna be huge. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be gold. It's gonna be a huge, wait, what am I doing? That was... Yeah, who are you? Yeah, that was Trump. Ugh. He was talking about gold, something gold. It's gonna be fantastic. So if you own a Model S, don't flip out. Just pull into Relaxation Station, visit your Tesla dealer, and get your Model S checked out. That's it. Isn't that right, Muskimus Maximus? Uh. I'm not mad, bro. No. No. Speaking of Tesla, Bentley could be hot on your heels because we hear they are working on an all-electric two-seater sports car that will produce well over 500 of these. 500 of these. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely more than five. More than five. Yeah, yeah, about 500. Uh, according to CEO Wolfgang Durheimer, it's one of two new options on the table for their next new car, following the launch of the big Bentayga SUV, of course. Uh, interesting, though, two new models that aren't replacing any existing models in the lineup. Yeah. Apparently, this all-electric sports car would be based on that sexy EXP10 Speed 6 concept. Durheimer said customer response to the EXP10 Speed 6 concept was phenomenal. So Bentley is looking to build on that positive feedback. In related news, customer response to the name EXP10 Speed 6 concept was generally, what a stupid f name. True. That's not my words. No. 
I'm quoting a different guy who hosts one of the coolest, if not the coolest, car news show ever created. But I'm just saying, we bleeped it out anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That other guy must be really cool. Hmm. Uh, that's a rumor. Oh, hey now. We've heard many, speaking of rumors, Erica, oh, yeah. we've heard many a rumor that we will see a successor to the legendary and current Nissan GTR in 2018. Well, don't count on it. Many say that the Nissan Concept 2020 Vision Gran Turismo was going to preview what the next generation GTR Coupe may actually look like-ish. You know, not fully. So when will this beast arrive? Well, according to Australia's motoring, it may not arrive until 2020 or later. Yeah, going straight up Barbara Walters on, on him, on you. 2020. Yeah. Nissan Australia's managing director said, quote, to be honest, the company is not even talking about it. Well, I, yeah, that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Speculation had been that it would come as a 2018 model. So if you got your hopes up, <clears throat> I just shot them down. Yep. Yeah. That's a, I think that's how, I, is that how I shoot a gun? Like that. Oh, we dropped a couple of bullets. Uh, here's a fun fact, though. If the next GTR has its retail appearance in 2020, the current generation, generation, I can't talk today. The current generation R35 GTR will have been on sale for 11 years by that time. 11 years, that's a long time. It is. And, and, and it said the earliest 2020, so it could be after that. So maybe even 11 to 15, that's a lot of years. Wow. All right. Let's all watch someone doing it wrong. All right, this manager of a car wash down in Louisiana, he's just going about his normal routine, Erica. You know, he's unraveling a hose to spray down the inside of the car wash. Maybe it's the end of the day. But he gets a little too close and that hose gets stuck in the large spinning car wash brush directly behind him. It then traps him in the brush as well. And round and round we go. It's almost like he's riding a bull. I kind of wanted to uh, bet on how long he could stay on it. But even, even when he falls to the ground, it still spins him around a little bit. It's actually pretty hilarious. I watched it a few times. Uh, he wasn't hurt, but he did say that this was one of the scariest moments of his life. And this guy is an ex-military serviceman, apparently. I believe his name is Josh Hood, I think they said. Uh, he was essentially hogtied to the brush. I would imagine that can be pretty scary, you know, just spinning around. But come on, man. Paying attention when you're unraveling a hose and you have a gigantic scrub brush spinning directly behind you, you're doing it wrong. There's a lot of mechanical things going on there, man. That could have ended a lot worse. Your arm could have got caught in something, your leg, just wouldn't, wouldn't have been good, you know? I guess you could say he had a brush with death. Yeah. He was pretty cleanly after that. You guess you won't need to, uh, I guess he might need to shower. He might have, you know, soiled himself. <laughs> hey, you guys wanna watch that again? Link's in the description. All right, it's funny, you know, the guys, it's funny because there's a man spinning around in a car wash brush. That's, that's, the, that's what's comical about it. And he's doing it wrong, Erica. <sighs> Tough crowd today. All right, our FD question of the day is, do you think Nissan is hurting itself by delaying the next GTR? I mean, I don't know. They said 2018, and, and now it's at least 2020. Although it's not a practical car for many people. It's not like people are buying GTRs left and right. So the focus on crossovers and other stuff makes sense, money-wise. And let's be honest, it's all about the cha-ching. So I'd like to know your thoughts. Hashtag FLDQ of the D. And you could send in, in uh, AK, do you have your uh, voice box here today? Did you bring it? Just hit it. Tips at PassingDeadly.com. Yeah, that's the website. That's the one. Huh. Nice. And there you go, folks. That's going to end this episode of Fast Lane Daily. Thank you for watching. And remember, again, we are off on uh, Thursday and Friday, but we might bring you a little, little something on Friday, a little something, something for the weekend. You know what I mean? Take care. A gobble, gobble, goo, and a gobble, gobble, giggle. I wish that turkey only cost a nickel. Thanksgiving is a special time. Jimmy Walker. Used to say dynamite. That's right. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.